God, bro. Hey, one more, bro. One more, one more, one more. Oh my God, bro. Hey, one more, bro. Bro, my hands is not right today, bro. What is going on? Y'all know me. I be in these one-on-ones and stuff, and I run these good routes, sauce people up, get open, and I go to catch the ball. Drop. So I've been trying to work on my hands, but I just don't know what I could do to get these things right. Hold on. I got an idea. What's good, your boy D-Strong, back in the cup for another video. I'm here with my boy Hank Town. What's going on, what's going on? You guys remember him from the last video. We put on our scientific lab coats, AKA Mr. Mark Rovers in the cut, and we tested if balls flew further with helium versus air. You guys should check that video out. It's linked below, it's on the side of this, it's somewhere, go check it out. But today, we got a good one. We got a really good one, y'all boys. We testing some more stuff. So y'all know me, I'm always doing one-on-ones. I'm always trying to get my hands right. I'm always trying to do kids, and I'm always trying to find the best advantage I can to perform the best in these situations. My hands just aren't certified today. You guys saw the earlier clip. So we did some extensive research and found some household items that could help me improve my grip and my catchability. I actually went to the store earlier, pop that in. All right, y'all, we need some honey. We won't go organic, you know, we trying to stay healthy today. All right, now we finna do some syrup. Hmm. OG Aunt Jemima. Thickest syrup in town, baby. <laughs> this is a whole lot of glue. More glue options than I thought there would be. What do we want, man? I think Make this is the most recognizable. I mean, this ain't bad, bro. We could just do... Yeah, I think this is, I think this is a good choice. Now, this is the most difficult choice. I know this is not an owl you tend to come into a lot. You need three? We could keep one, use one for the video, and then gift you the other two. Should get a toothbrush, too. Oh, we got our ingredients, man. Let's head to the field. Actually, last and final ingredient. We need a bang energy. I'm gonna go with the cotton candy today. You feeling anything, bro? That Tell birthday cake looks fire. Birthday cake, man? Yeah. You want that? Yeah, it's almost my birthday, too. Hey, man. Go D25 for 25% off. Go get y'all shit. All right, man, so everybody knows glue, one of the sticky substances out there. We got our big ass one gallon bottle of Elmer's glue. How do you think that's gonna perform? By the way, we got syrup, honey, toothpaste, peanut butter, glue. I think the honey is gonna be the best substance to catch these balls. You think peanut butter for real? I think it depends on how big your hand is. Uh, for me, peanut butter is the winner. Hey man, let us know you guys' predictions down below. I need y'all's formal hypothesis. What's gonna win? Syrup, honey, toothpaste, peanut butter, or, or glue. glue? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have Mr. Turk, man of the jigs machine. How does this work, sir? Yes, what, sir. What so the way this is working, each ingredient will get three tries. We're gonna go along and the top two winners will be in the finale. He's got three tries. It's gonna be 20, 30, 40 speeds. We'll see how certified his hands are and which ingredient hands is the best. That, that shouldn't even be a and question. And mine. Get it, man. Who? I know you This is to, disgusting, bro. That's too much. To Chill out, bro. This is too much. I wonder what it tastes like, bro. You gotta subscribe if he eats it. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the merch, though. Hey man, yeah, I don't want to dirty it, bro. We got that brand new the 11 March on, bitch. We won a one, man. Trust me, it's coming. Let's get it. This nigga just punched me? I slept without him with this glue on my hands, boy. Imagine getting smacked with this. That's the three. This is on 20. Ooh, first snaggy. That was weird. It hit my hands and slid a little bit. All right, we one for one right now. I think the glue might go two for three, because at 40 miles per hour, we tested it earlier. You saw me drop it. That shit goes fast. Taking this mug up to 30. Bring that thing up, boy. It's funny because we got a bunch of chickens in the background here, and it's like every time we do or say something, they just go. <laughs> Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Cut that bit with my fingertips. I honestly don't know if it's gonna catch the next one. It still hits my hands, and like I gotta really. Gr it hits my hands, and I really gotta like squeeze. All right, just do forty, bro. Let's get it. 40 miles per hour! Oh! That was invalid, invalid, invalid. It has to be in the range, man. Are you ready? 40 miles per hour, attempt number two. Keep it in range this time, sir. Yes, sir. I think that glue is making it go that way, bro. You alright, man? Sorry, bro. Don't fire me. Alright, y'all, so this glue is getting very sticky. And just for the sake of this experiment, we don't take no shortcuts. We don't take no shortcuts. Just don't go so crazy. 
This man emptied the whole damn gallon the first time on my hand. Waste the glue, brother. There's kids in Africa trying to eat this shit too. 40 miles per hour, take three. Look, it literally peeled off the glue from my hands. And I know I could have caught that one, bro. But just see what's in there. Damn, I told you glue is going to be two for three. And it's not me rigging an experiment. I just know my hands, the glue, and that speed's crazy, man. On to the next. Experiment number two, brother. We got the Aunt Jemima original syrup. So I heard they took Aunt Jemima off the stain because people were saying it was a bit racist. But um, I think it's a little racist that they took her off. Aunt Jemima kind of bad, too. Man. Like I said, uh, what was that? It's another one, Miss Butterworth. Is she? Anyways, pour it on my hands, man. We got 20, 30, 40. Glue's two out of three. Ready? Let's see if syrup does any better, man. Leave your predictions for how the syrup's gonna do. <laughs> you almost got that on my new merch, bro. <laughs> on my new premium V11 like, sportswear. Do you know what this is and what I had to go through to I mean, make this? Fire, Let me you know, know what I had to go through to make this? That was real, that was real neat slapper. <laughs> All right, for real, for real, for real. Ugh. This shit. Bro, chill out, bro. <laughs> chill out, bro. Whoa. Junk got all over my watch. watch. Oh, my bad. By the end of this, he's gonna get smacked with some type of ingredient. Off the rip, I'm not gonna cap. I know this is gonna do terrible. It's super slippery and super. It's kinda like oil on my hands. Ooh. That gives y'all an idea of what this test variable is gonna be like. Hey, the syrup's getting a little stickier, so hopefully this 30 piece is gonna be a lot easier to cap. Oh, yeah, easy work. Easy work. Syrup might actually do well. Grass is sticking on it. Two for two right now. The syrup's actually holding up real well. Forty piece tickling neck. Forty, here we go. <laughs> that was a snap. And the syrup passes to the final round. Right now, syrup is leading. Glue is in second place, but we only tested two substances. Let's get it. This experiment it. has been very surprising so far. Now we got ingredient number three: Colgate toothpaste. Ingredient number three, toothpaste. And you might need to put some in your mouth. They can smell your breath through the camera. Who forgot your toothbrush though? You're supposed to brush your shit. Let's get it, man. Ugh. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> let's get to it. Yes, sir. Can you put some shit on my neck? Do I have stuff on my neck? <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, all right. Substance number three, toothpaste. Yeah, my breath feel minty fresh right now. You know, it would have been kind of weird if I put glue in my mouth and wasn't willing to put toothpaste in my mouth. So, yeah. 20 miles per hour. Yep. Ooh. Snag. <laughs> I made sure I closed my eyes so that none of this stuff splashed in my eyeballs. 30 piece chicken make nuggets. Woo hoo hoo. It took all the toothpaste off my hands. Watch it catch 40 though. 40 miles per hour. It didn't pass 30, so let's see. Toothpaste, dead. <laughs> One for three. <clears throat> On to the next. All right, y'all. Variable number four, honey. Organic honey. Organic honey, so it's extra sticky. Syrup performs exceptionally well. Toothpaste and glue, and eh. I feel like this is gonna be another one. And this might be our final competitor in the end. Stick to the end, because our championship round is gonna be very interesting. Let's get this honey, right, my ready? boy. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Thank All you. All right, bro. Ooh, boy, listen. I know a sticky substance when I feel it. And this. Freaking honey, this might do the trick, y'all, boy. Easy work. Damn, hold on, it won't. You gotta grab this, bro. Pry it out my hands. Got your dumb ass. <laughs> 30 miles per hour, let it rip, brother. Damn, can you help me get this off, man? <laughs> He's scared. We got him scared, y'all, boy. He's scared of honey for. This is from the land. This is organic. This is natural. 40 miles per hour, he's hand certified. This honey even more certified. I already know honey's gonna go to the final round, so let's snag this bar. Ready? Let it rip! Mm. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, it almost hit my face. Like I said, the hands are certified, the honey's certified. So we went to the next. All right, so last but not least, right now honey's in the final round and syrup is in the final round. All right, ready? Peanut butter's our final freaking contestant. Oh, bro, come on, bro. Come on. Go, put your hands there, bro. You're gonna waste it. I don't it. need all that. I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, peanut butter might do good now that I feel yeah, it in my hands. Hey. Oh, bro, I know it's gonna spray. I know it's gonna spray off my hand like that. Truce, bro. For this man. <laughs> I don't know if he's angry or what, bro. I can't tell, bro. I never seen somebody mad doing car wheels. That's what I'm saying. 
20 miles per hour peanut butter. Let's get it. This is not gonna be good, y'all. I hit my hands and it literally did this. Look. That was not my fault. <laughs> Take two, 30 miles per hour. Let's get it. So what happens when the machine gets dirty, it like messes up the rotation of the, you know, the spiral thing, even jiggers, and they shoot in all types of trajectories that aren't too calculated by us. Sounds smart as hell, huh? But you know, we figuring it out. Zende has back there doing his thing, you feel me? 30 piece, take what? 1,500? Ooh, We might have a third championship contender, man. 40 MPH, this is the moment of truth. If peanut butter makes this catch, it moves on to the final round. If it doesn't, it's eliminated and it's just honey and syrup. So let's get it. Peanut butter, out of there. We on to the final round. Uh, so basically, all these ingredients, they make the cut, they trash. If you're trying to up your catching skills, I keep this to use later. Yeah, you need it. Gift to you, my bro. Appreciate it. Here, take another one too. You might run out of that one quickly, so. Yeah. Huh? Final round, y'all boys! Aunt Jamama cute that that made it to the finals. And that organic honey has made it to the finals. How the finals is gonna work, we're gonna crank this machine up to 30 miles per hour. Now we'll be standing 10 yards away. Five catches each substance, best of five, comes our winner. If we have a tie, we go into overtime. Let us know your predictions down below. And let's get started, man. Just to give me a little extra juice, you know what I'm saying? Here I know the brand that sponsors the shit out of this channel, Bang Energy. Go get your Bang Energy at bangenergy.com, code D25 for 25% off. First thing first, we going honey. Get it, man. Let's get it, man. We going with the right hand because I trust my right hand more than my left. Let's get it. Ball number one. It's not sticking, but it was a catch. Let me know y'all predictions down below. Ball number two, brother. Let it rip. Ooh. Ooh. Two for two. It's hard to just really, uh. Cause it's like a little slippery. The honey hasn't dried to where it's like, you know, you know, it ain't the same syrup. I don't know, it hit my shirt. No catch, okay. no catch. It was aided by the body. So we're gonna establish these rules. If it's aided by the body or anything other than your hand is not a catch. Two for three. Two for four. Two for four, honey. Ball number five. It just hits and just moves, bro. I saw the honey pop off on that one. It's like I seen it right here, and then it just kind of hit the hand and just. Honey, two for five, man. Hopefully, syrup can do a little bit better. Cause that was my prediction. All right, y'all boys. Now it's time for Aunt Jamama. Two right. for five with the honey. We gotta do three. Let's see what you got. Let's see if we can get three. Final round, syrup. First catch. Ball number two. <laughs> it was an ugly catch, but it was a catch. Ball number three. Let's get it. It could all be over right here. Oh. Aided by the body. Would have been a catch, but it ain't no snag. Yeah, two for three. Ball number four. Two for three right now. It could all be over here, for real, this time. All I gotta do is catch it. Get it, let it rest. Last ball, fifth and final ball. It's tied right now. Syrup has the opportunity to become the undisputed champion and become a staple in football catching history. Let's see what this fifth and final ball is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. So the test came to a conclusion. And if you guys want to up your hands, want to up your catching, just go to your nearest IHOP, Waffle House, whatever it may be. Still, you want a two syrup packets. Keep it in your, you know, your little side of your football pants, 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 pants. pants.